many of us have struggles you know like self-esteem issues um, and something like it's that. like so many people i'm like oh, i can't figure it out it's something about her Welcome, welcome to my channel. Sometimes I do my hair, sometimes, sometimes I do my I do whatever I feel like. And today we're sipping on some wine because we're gonna talk about some things, like talk about some juicy things. Talking, we're talking about confidence, how to love yourself, how to be you in this world. We're loving it. All right. All right. So first, I wanna talk about comparing yourself to others. Like this is you that person is that person and whoever is whoever you can never regardless of what you do you can never be somebody else so you can't compare yourself to somebody that makes no sense or whatever you decide to sell something and a, another person selling the same thing right you you will say oh god let me watch to see what she doing let me watch to see what she doing um and keep comparing yourself you no know, like two people could do the same thing and we all going to be successful buddy because once you're doing something you do it to the best of your ability so you could be confident you could so it's like you're doing it and you don't have to bring down somebody if you know what i mean because sometimes people compare themselves let's say we doing the same thing we doing the same thing and you know you're fine well okay that person doing it so you want to down that person because you want to look good? No. Both of us can look good. Once you know you put good quality into your work, you shouldn't have a problem with anybody else. Like, you don't have to share down somebody to look good. You hear that? You don't have to share down somebody to look good. And many, I realize that is the trend now. Like, many people feel that they need to take down somebody to look good. How? Oh. How? Oh. How? So stop comparing yourself to other others. If you everybody have their own style of doing things, regardless of what you can never be that person. Never. Because if you are now comparing yourself to that person, automatically you have that person as your competition in your head. Your own self is supposed to be your competition where you decide to okay, you look back at your stuff and realize where you went wrong and say, well, okay, no. I'm gonna do this better next time. The next thing I wanna do is wanna talk about. I mean, I just talk about comparing yourself and everything, but once you wake up in the morning, right? Once God grants your life and you say your prayers, you get up and you brush your teeth, you eat your late breakfast, and whatever it is, if you have the time. But regardless of what, always make time to set your daily goals. It might sound basic, but set your daily goals and write it down you can start with two you can start with one you can start with three how how, how much you have how much ever you want to talk about how many goals do you want write it down for the day so like sometimes you know you might have anger issues and you might want to do better but you know your temper lay lay short so you kind of be feeling once you write it down you know you have something to work towards so you will try your best to control your so it's more or less you challenging yourself to do better the importance of writing it down so that you can go back and look back look back and see where you came from and the things that you don't want to do when you decide to slack off on it you go back and you always keep yourself on track right you have to love yourself like you have to come you, you have to build your mind you know like sometimes it is say train your mind to do things you have to love yourself like watch in the mirror you know it has some people that say me don't watch in the mirror no it's like you have to watch in the mirror and you have to see what you like about yourself you have to find the likes don't just go in the mirror and say oh gosh my head big my nose broad my mouth broad everything it's not going to make it it's not going to make you think and stop looking at social media you know because social media sometimes it has so many apps to edit certain things sometimes it's not what it is and i mean you would po post a basic picture and you may not get any likes but somebody else post something as whatever you want to look like 
that person might post something else and they get a million likes and you start to feel some type of way no you have to love yourself that is the only so people will love you people love confidence people love to see when you know you love yourself and like one day if you're struggling with it let's say you're really fat and you don't like it you have to look in the mirror and see what you like you're not only looking in the mirror to see what you don't like how i mean i get that because society kind of does have you in your feelings sometimes have you in your shell and you don't know how to come out you have to come out for yourself you have to come out yourself for yourself and surround yourself with with different people to make you feel comfortable because depending on the people you are wrong you are wrong right that will break you down. You wouldn't even believe. You wouldn't believe how that could break you down. So you have to choose your you have to choose your friends. Right? Because if I is your friend and you don't like your belly. You don't like your belly, right? You no matter what you try, you try all kind of diets, whatever, whatever it says. You just don't like your belly for no reason. The, the belly not going, it's saying it. All you have to do is Feel out certain clothes, feel out this, and see what works for you. Because I mean, if I see it in a small, small thing, so and it all in your belly, and then it thing back. So I will say, girl, you know, it has some nice clothes thing because they're really looking good, you know. And we go ting, 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 whatever, whatever. Give you a compliment, sit them, compliment you on different things. Come in, but I do like something about myself, and that person only, you know, making fun of it, making fun of it, making fun of it, and. Allowing you to just sing, sing, sing. Mm -mm. You have to change your circle. You have to change the people you want to be around. Because you have to be happy and people have to accept you. So, um, sorry if this video all over. I wrote down some things but then it just coming in my mind because I have so much to say because this topic is so touchy because I mean when I was growing up I used to think that black people are ugly because you know every time it's something somebody always quick to call it black to call it thing of a man look at us look at us you understand it had a point in time i didn't like my shoulders and i would never wear this never 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 so i never saw my no tin strap if you did give me a towel to go down i was well fine with that and now let me in this lovely romper who can tell me something who listen and love others like when you see somebody looking nice i mean let's say you doing makeup right and that person doing makeup you would know the like some people just get me real sick with it you would know the person looking good you know but you not telling that person she looking good or if somebody make a comment you not going and say well yeah that person looking good because you feel that would make that person better than you or whatever like don't do that you have to love people and you have to give people the credit it's like and you have to do it from your heart you know you would see somebody looking nice and it's like oh my god you look so good and you go like where what how that how that bringing out anything out of you like certain conversation you have to surround yourself with different you have to surround yourself with people who doing the things listen you have to surround yourself with people you know people who you watch them and you say well okay yeah you watch the conversations the person having you watch the things they will do you watch how they treat people you watch you know you just watch certain things about that person and you surround yourself with that person once you realize you have a friend who only pulling down this person nobody don't have a look good they only pulling down that person for no reason like you like you don't even know the person and all they're doing is just bringing down that person for what what that really doing for me and with me now i i i would not i would watch who i surround myself with and usually i am a quiet person i'm a quiet person but i'm not coward in terms of if somebody doing me something or El Trit and I wouldn't talk up about it. I would talk up about it. So it's not like, yeah, if you tell me a cockroach there, I am running. But I am not covered that that I pray people, right? Sometimes I stay to myself. And this is what I de develop. And I love myself. 
I love myself how I, how I am. Sometimes I, I might say I would change certain things or whatever, but like I would not go around. Sometimes I, I try not to be too friendly with people because I always see when you're too friendly with people, sometimes it's the conversation or the respect sometimes does drop. And out of no things, they forget that, okay, yeah, I was just the same girl you was shy to talk to. How it reach that disrespect because I get friendly? How? You cannot tell me that. So I would, I would hold my corner. I would be, I, I would have to feel you out and know that, okay, yeah, this is what it is. And once I realize, okay, it could be that one friend. Once I realize that you're out of time, and I hold in my corner because I know when I get out of time, and I go be the out of time and one. And yeah, so I prefer not to be friends. Like, like a boy watched me the other day and say, it's them ugly ones to this girl. And so I was like so shocked because I'm like, people let still do them thing in 2020. I mean, before would I say something, but then I was like, you know, if I, if I say what I want to say, it may not be what I want to say. So let me not say anything because I'm like, no, I thought I'm nice. So I end up ugly again. Oh, I end up ugly again. And that didn't do me anything. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes people have it in the is people have a problem with itself and they can they envy how you would carry yourself or how you would love yourself or whatever not because they think i ugly i gonna drop my standards no i ugly for you i know ugly for that person man. what are you doing all right so yeah so always always try to be honest always try to be honest like being honest like you know plenty of people have the thing is be honest just be honest like be honest with yourself be honest with people just be honest regardless of if people don't like it because sometimes people don't like honesty people like it to be deceitful and you now as a human being have to say well okay i love myself and i want to be true to myself and i want to be true to people because i always believe whatever you give out is what you'll get back so for example, right? Somebody asks you, let's say you bounce up a group of people and you're just trying to fit in. We don't fit in, we stand out, right? Because somebody will ask you, do you watch movies? You like to watch movies? I gonna watch a movie, whatever, whatever. And you know, you just wanna fit in. So you'll be like, yeah, I really like to watch movies. I love to watch movies. Mind you, you don't even watch movies. But, you're watching movies. people will be loving somebody else and you will be stifling the you and you know sometimes they might be liking the you even more because i mean let's say we're being honest right and you're being honest with somebody i mean they might not like you because they, they they don't like what you're telling them or they find you should not tell them that or whatever but in that person mind bet your bottom dollar that person does appreciate you some that person would appreciate you sometimes you have to take the a different approach to get it to that person but regardless of what that person would always remember you as being real i always say if somebody don't like you somebody else is going to like you for who you are i talk about surrounding yourself with surrounding yourself with good folks like surround surround yourself with people that love themselves you must know when people love themselves. You 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 know they would they would bring you up. They wouldn't try to to think. It's like you're trying to 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 take pictures. We we would use pictures, right? You're trying to take a picture. But in your mind you want to be a photographer and you know you surround yourself with these people now and there's like why are you only taking pictures? Nobody don't take pictures no more. We just 
fan of and like people take pictures for us like we don't nobody take it's like where are you living and then you go with our next crowd and they realize okay you like to take pictures and somebody might jump up and say why you don't why you don't go and do a course why you don't do this um let me pose for you let me, and you would know that them people them is the kind of people they want to be around once you stick around the kind of people who want to tell you why you're taking the picture for you and all of a sudden forget that you even like taking pictures that's to tell you don't let nobody control you people go say all kind of things people go say you're better you feel better than people people don't go say whatever you whatever it is once it makes you happy do it once it makes you happy do it because that person might be the same person to say oh god she likes a yawn or sulky like she don't like herself and i don't know i'm to she and she baby girl baby boy it's 2020 bringing down somebody would never make you feel better and i'm sure you know that by now be honest to yourself shows on your face right compliment somebody love somebody recommend somebody to somebody you know it's like give people the props give people the props like love people how all they can just be so long bashing people and cause them people not to love themselves i was a tomboy growing up so i was like okay i don't black there was somewhere black i decided to have blah 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 and when i reach i can't remember what age it was i started to change I started to change and I started to realize what I wanted. I started to realize what I like. I started to realize that and I started to realize that certain things in life what I thought matters does not matter. I started to realize that people are so fake and you never know what somebody thinking. Right? You never know what somebody thinking and is like I start to I start to see what I wanted to be and what I what I didn't want it to be. So that is why I would be honest now. I would hold my corner when I see fit to hold my corner. I will talk when I see fit to talk. And yeah, I just be true to myself. I don't compare myself to anybody because I just do what I need to do to the best of my ability. So once I doing something, I am sure I can defend what I did or why I doing this or how I did that. You know, um, I mean it's still. I'm. I'm not saying that I, I. I don't have things that I don't like about myself. But what I'm saying is I accept everything that I have. Like I have these two hands. I have these two hands to do my makeup. I have these two hands to drive. I have these two hands to do many different things. I have eyes to see. I have mouth to talk. The breasts to put on. You know, so I always try to be thankful for what I have. And once you're, once you're thankful for what you have and you appreciate what you have, you would never feel like people owe you, owe you anything. Because you would know that, okay, whatever I have to get, I have to get up and work for it. Period. Once you... Once you think that somebody needs to give you something, once you're watching other people think and making up stories in your head and down in yourself because you think, okay, that person, things going so good for that person and why that person has to think and whatever, whatever, whatever. You're bringing yourself down, but you're not, you're not making the effort to actually do anything. You would see somebody walking the road and they have so many problems but some persons know how to deal with it some person acts ac some persons accept life to love yourself because if you don't love yourself you would always be a hater you would be hating on everybody because you want to feel better feeling it, feeling better is not bringing down somebody else feeling better is drinking some wine going on road trips going to the beach 
going to the restaurant and like out with your friends that is feeling better feeling better can never be to bring down somebody else and in your mind you know it's not like that if you understand what it would just look good it would just be good for the, the moment that conversation or whatever but in your mind you're still feeling like some like I love that girl like why she ought to be so nice and you're going, no man, you're feeling everything. You're feeling like you want to, you want to think, you want to throw out your clothes. You want to, you know, because it don't make you feel good. You must be willing. You have to choose because nobody not going to do it for you. You have to get up and get it. Get up and get it thing. Be grateful for whatever you have. If you have $5 in your pocket, it has some people don't have nothing. Right? But you have $5 in your pocket. But you vex that somebody had ten. If you lost your money and you go on nothing, you have to be thankful for what you have. Like you can't be watching people think because that people doing all kind of things to survive, all kind of thing to get by, get through. So you can't watch people life and think that it's so perfect. You have to make your life for yourself. And you have to know when to say no, you have to know when to say yes. You have to know when you have to fight for it. You know, like you want something. You want something and you have to you have to work to get it because you know you do have Santa Claus day to day. So you always have to prep your mind like that. So you won't get disappointed. I mean if somebody is giving you something, we call that the bonus. We call that weather. You know somebody you should take a bit. Okay, if you need to take it, to take it. But to say you're sitting down and you're depending on that. And you have to you have to do what you don't want to do first. That is how you all angry. That is take away. That is take away your strike. That is take away. That is take away your shoulders. Do you understand? That is take away everything. Um Alright, so I had to do a voiceover because this was a little trashy. But what I'm saying is you have to have self-love. Like you have to love yourself regardless of who they are or not. And that is the only so you would understand the true love of loving yourself and how to enjoy your, your self space. You know? When I now start to love, love down myself, I did always like heels. But none of my friends, if we're going out, nobody put on heels. Who can walk in it? Who can, who just not about the heels thing? And I didn't love my heels. Sometimes I would pour the heels and let girl out the time and I don't care. So every opportunity I get to wear my heels, I just walk in my heels and I just pour my heels. I don't care who, I don't care who have on heels. Once I feel to pour my heels, every opportunity, once I see fit, once I have to, once I have to run, once I go and exercise, then if I feel to pour on my heels, I put on my heels. I love it. Or you want your friends and them to go have dinner with you, right? And nobody want to go. It's like, oh God, me want to go thing, whatever, whatever. And you don't have company to go. Do it yourself. Wake up Saturday. We go in for a pedicure, right? Depending on if we need, need to do, we set in time to do that too. If you want to do your facials, you do your facials. And you go sit down in the restaurant by yourself, buy where you want to buy, sit down and you eat everything. Because if you let some people to do it, you would never think. You would always be wanting to do that. Maybe you have to get up. You have to get up and do it. I mean, you would, people with jealousy, they might be thinking or whatever, or whatever, or whatever. You do and always try to change your mind I don't, I don't know if I get to put everything together because it was all over the place and it was a rush but I still want to do it because if you can get this point clear you'll get an next point clear and thanks for watching guys I love you guys so much if you reach it I love you by the way this mind tasting so good and when I say pan for yourself I now talk about pan for yourself get your glass of wine when you go to the grocery and you want to pick up your groceries or whatever, try and put some wine in your fridge. 
and chill it. And every time, you know, you can drink, you can drink a glass a day if you feel like, or you can drink it, you know, once a week. You know, put some wine in it or something like wine in it or something. So guys, you can um, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. You can reach me at I am underscore Unella on Instagram. Email Unella Lawrence 92 at gmail.com. And subscribe.